Monroe Elementary is the school in the Anoka Hennepin School District. We are a magnet program for engineering, so STEM, and we serve grades K through five. The GEARS idea came about a few years back. Our test scores were not wonderful, and we had to find a way to better meet all the students' needs that we had. Our PLC team, Professional Learning Community, came up with an idea of how can we provide interventions for all students all the time. The GEARS program helps students get targeted instruction at their level. They're already getting the first best instruction in their classroom and this is a tier two intervention for them to be able to strengthen the skills that they're lacking or to extend the learning that they already have to push them to the next level. Students are grouped in a 10 day cycle. So staff meet um, on digital day one of the cycle. They meet to plan the groups and determine what the instruction will be, what the targeted intervention will be, what the assessments are that we're gonna track before and then at the end of the cycle. Then the students begin their group on day two and they have the cycle day two through day 10. Day 10 is another assessment day and so students are assessed on the last day of the cycle to determine what will be the next intervention. The levels within my, my own classroom um, in math or in reading, the levels vary so much. What Gears Time does is it provides us an opportunity to put students with like needs together and be very specific about our goals. We have students that maybe were struggling with counting backwards from 10 and they weren't able to do it at the beginning of the year. But giving them 10 days of a very specific intervention, I mean, that's it's almost five hours of instruction that they've had for me, at least this group, and now they're able to count backwards from 100. The impact of GEARS is that we're meeting kids where they're at and bringing them to higher levels. If I meet with kids 10 days in a row, so I really can get to know them and get to know their, their habits, their reading, and whatever skill we might be working on, I can really be fine-tuning and listening and gathering data and helping advance their skills by meeting with them so often. Most of the kids that I work with in a small group are the kids that are exceeding their grade level standards and expectations. What I've seen in those groups of students is um, a greater ability to communicate and to talk to their peers about their learning rather than just completing a worksheet and, and moving on. We're not just focusing on the kids that don't get it or that need support in, in order to be successful in the classroom, but I think what's wonderful is that we're also focusing on those kids that when they sit in the classroom, they already know what we're teaching them and they're ready to move on. So I think this is one of the first times that those kids who need a challenge or an extension, we're finally giving them that time and attention that we just couldn't do before. Every child is being pushed to the next level. The payoff for GEARS is that these are gonna be lifelong learners and we will send them off with the tools and the learning that they need to be successful in middle school, high school, and beyond. We see GEARS catching on in other schools. As evidenced when in a district meeting we hear people talk about their versions of that half hour intervention block. So it's kind of cool to hear that. It's really having the grade levels take a look at their class as a whole and sharing the students, being able to give everybody a chance to do better at learning.